Okay, let's do a tutorial on Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is what I use to capture these uh, videos. Um, I post the videos for faculty or staff or for my students up to my YouTube channel. I like it's got a really tight integration with YouTube and I'm doing a lot of hand gestures, which I guess is pretty good for videos. Um, and uh, let's get started. So if you are a staff or faculty for Mesa Community College, then this is the video for you. If not, then Google Screencast-O-Matic and download, install. It's amazing. Um, I really enjoy it. I'll do another tutorial perhaps on how to use Screencast-O-Matic. This is just on the installation of said technology. Okay, let me uh, open up a web browser because all the instructions you're going to need are on the website. So I'm going to open up a new page just so we can find it from scratch. MesaCC.edu. We're going over to the college website. Now, uh, before we get started, uh, clicking around here on the web page, sign into the intranet. So click on intranet. It'll ask you for your MEID and password. It remembers that I'm logged in, so uh, but it might ask you to log in there. And after you're logged in, in this search window up here, you click uh, there and just type in screencast. That should be enough. Nope, it's not enough. Uh, we'll type in screencast dash o dash matic hit enter and here we go screencast o matic pro licensing this will have the instructions you have regardless of uh, if it's a home computer a work computer or whatnot now I'm gonna have to blur some of the stuff out here in the middle because there may be a password or two that I need to blur out um, so you can access Screencast-O-Matic a couple different ways. First of all, there's like a web version of it here at the top. So if you click on this, it brings up a web page and it launches Screencast-O-Matic like through a website magically. I like to install the desktop version myself. Um, and to install the desktop version, there's two options. One, if you got a college issued machine and you're using a Mac, then you'll use the self-service option. And what that means is like you click the little magnifying glass here up on the Mac click this magnifying glass, you type in self, see I've already done that, self-service, hit enter, and it uh, it pops up this software delivery system. Then once you're in the software delivery system, you search for the thing you're looking for, so in our case it's screencast, and there it is, you click the install button. That's how to install it on a Mac, if it's a college issue computer. And um, on a PC, uh, it's a software center. So in the bottom corner there, you click the start menu, search for software, center and then the same way find Screencast-O-Matic in the software center and click install. Now um, there is a site license so once you've launched it for the first time you'll have to click on something that says license or site license or something to that effect. I think they've changed the verbiage it's like a, I forget what it's called now and I'd like to show you like I'd like to take you through the whole thing but unfortunately uh, like a dork I'm using Screencast-O-Matic now so I can't like close Screencast-O-Matic and reinstall it because I'm using it to record this. Duh. Um, in the future, I'll make these recordings, the Screencast-O-Matic recordings, through a different piece of software. Probably uh, QuickTime Player has a screen, ca a screen capture thing. Um, and then you enter in the license owner here. And then this is the password that I need to blur out. And then you should be good to go. So again, you run the installation. Either you can download it if it's a home computer and not a college computer, you download it with this button here. Uh, or you can download it with self-service or software center if it's a college issue computer. Then run through the installation here with site license. Mesa CC is the license owner. And then here is a secret password that no one must know. Um, and once you enter in all that stuff, then you should be good to go for using Screencast-O-Matic which is currently my favorite screen lecture capture uh, thing. It's got a tight integration to YouTube. You just record your videos, click a button, it ships it up to YouTube, and you're on to the next one. It's also got a cool green screen feature that I'm not using right now, but it kind of, uh, if you have a green screen behind you, it can extract you from that green screen. And maybe I'll do a video on that someday. Okay, uh, stay safe out there. Enjoy. Bye.